Well, the Boston Bruins playoff hopes hanging in the balance as they prepare to take on the Florida Panthers tonight at the TD Garden. The Panthers playoff hopes could be all but killed with a loss to the Bruins tonight, and that makes for a great matchup, the results of which we'll bring you tonight on the night team. Meanwhile, down on the farm, the Providence Bruins have produced some NHL stars in recent years, a tradition that coach Bruce Cassidy hopes to continue. Sports Team 10's Joe Kayata has that story. The Providence Bruins are making a late season playoff push with just eight games left in the regular season, but the team has gotten a boost from 2013 second round draft choice of the Boston Bruins, Linus Arneson. The 20-year-old defenseman from Sweden just wrapped up his season in the Swedish Hockey League and is now playing for the PB. I'm excited to be here finally and uh, see how it is in this organization uh, via the season, not just only the development camp and rookie camp and stuff. So I'm excited, of course. You know, he played against men in Sweden, so he, he, that won't be an issue for him playing against good, strong hockey players, fast players. So that part of the game, he's mature, uh, makes good decisions with the puck, lots of composure. For him, it's just a matter of learning to play in a smaller rink. And there are a number of Swedish players in the Bruins organization who have helped Linus make this transition so smooth. I talked with uh, Lou Eriksson uh, at the training camp, a little bit with Soderberg, so uh, I heard some bits from them, but I gotta learn it for myself. And Coach Cassidy has produced a ton of NHL talent in recent years, like Tori Krug, and this year, Ryan Spurden, and he's very proud of what he's accomplished down here in Providence. For me, I, I it's one of the biggest rewards of the job. I was a guy that played predominantly in the minors. I certainly got up and played some games in Chicago in the NHL, but I wasn't a fixture up there by any means, so I enjoy it when these guys get up there, they punch the clock here, they put their time in, they're hard work and they're good character kids and they get rewarded and they got a chance to, to achieve their dream. Reporting from North Smithfield, I'm Joe Kayata, Sports Team 10.